and then the other side. Uh, I have a on. I have a comment and a question, and the comment is for you, Mary, regarding the French woman that you met. And I saw a program about a month ago on 2020 from America, and there are women that are having that experience of orgasms with childbirth, and it's from completely relaxing around the experience, and it just sounds just fantastic. I mean, this new wave of awareness, and they were kind of like going, whoa, you know, they're rolling their eyes and all this, but they also presented it, and it went all over the planet. And I've, I've seen a film before about women in Russia doing this very same thing, and they're just allowing the beauty of that experience to happen. So uh, that's the comment. And the question is, what about in vitro fer fertilization? Can you comment on that? Um, yeah, we can. <laughs> and probably getting a bit off the sex and sexuality thing and into some other sort of discussions about what, you know, what is the right thing to do about different choices that we make regarding child rearing and child bearing. But uh, just briefly, um, if a person cannot get pregnant in, a, in the standard method, shall we call it, um, there is emotions that both the husband and the wife need to look at identifying. Now, having any medical procedure, all that does is ignore the fact that the emotions are creating the problem. Do you follow me? And so my suggestion is to look at the causes of the problem rather than looking at whether these procedures are right or wrong in themselves, but rather look at the cause of the issue. The cause of the issue is if it's a male infertility, it's to do with his issues with regard to his emotions, that probably again transgenerational emotions that have ended him that he needs to look at releasing. And if, it, if it's, the infertility is on the side of the woman, then it, she needs to do the same thing. Now, usually when they do that, and there are many times when people have said that they couldn't get pregnant, they've gone and had an adoption or had an in, in vitro uh, fertilization. And then the second one, they've got pregnant naturally. And the reason why is during this process, they've often worked through some of the emotion regarding why they couldn't get pregnant in the first place. My suggestion is to deal with the emotional causes right from that time moment. What about the multiple births that are happening? Like somebody just had eight, where are the souls on that? I mean... Well, they're all separate uh, soul incarnations occurring into the eight children. Many of those multiple births, though, occurred through through abnormalities or through, um, what do they call it, fertilisation type drugs. And the problem with taking any drugs, of course, is going to be that it modifies the physiological function without, condi without a reference to the soul condition. And so my suggestion is always go back to the soul condition rather than trying to modify something at a physiological function level. When you do that, you're just ignoring the soul condition. So, so allow yourself to go back to looking at the emotional reasons as to why you can't get pregnant before taking fertilisation drugs which help you get pregnant. Look at the emotional reasons as to why you can't. Or look at if there's a constant stream of miscarriages occurring, look at the emotional reasons why those miscarriages might be occurring. Allow yourself to look at these things emotionally. That's the key thing to do. Okay. 